this we have uh, peter mcguire the ceo of uh, zm.com oil expert sydney uh, joining us uh, thank you so much sir for speaking with us here as far as the escalating tension between iran and israel that's really driving up the prices of oil we're seeing a 5% surge in oil prices and the fears are that the ongoing military action could easily take the prices of brent oil which is nearly 78 dollars a barrel to almost 100 dollars a barrel well, Debbie, yes, I mean, there are many components to this, and good morning. I mean, you know, when you're thinking about the big picture and you've got Iran, certainly with Israel, and the possibility of a strike on his, on Iran's oil infrastructure, and then President Biden saying, out, saying that he could uh, assist in some fashion or be uh, a, a party to it, then that is really going to change the footprint, I think, of that whole situation. We've had a big push up as far as price and the war premium is certainly starting to be built in. Uh, oil prices could certainly spike significantly from here. Also, uh, you know, important oil shipping routes such as uh, Red Sea and the Strait of uh, Hormuz uh, can be disrupted by further escalation. Now, two thirds of the oil and half the LNG that India imports comes from this particular region. Absolutely right. I mean, that's the choke point as far as the Strait of Hormuz. It just sits off, you know, off uh, uh, Dubai. And the issue, quite simply, is if you were to interrupt or, or have a change as far as shipping, then that's really going to put a handbrake as far as how the world plays from a demand side and from a supply side. This really changes so much in the sense of getting production out there, as you said, as far as India is concerned, many countries are reliant on energy. And then the next part, of course, is the whole how long is the time scale of this to work through the market? Is this going to be a very short lived situation or is it going to you know, magnify over the weeks ahead? Right. Uh, India, you know, significantly depends on oil and gas imports from the Middle East, despite its uh, supplies from Russia. And, uh, you know, when we talk about higher prices, that would mean inflation as well as it would impact the economic growth. How are you seeing this play forward when it comes uh, to the rise that we're seeing in oil, uh, petroleum, as well as its products? Well, you know, you're up 8% this week or just about, and we've got Friday to go as far as New York tonight and how uh, Brent gets traded. So there's the first part. So you could be up 10% by you know, this time tomorrow. Um, now, the impact naturally is, where does the market see itself? What happens as far as geopolitical strikes? And as far as production, and, and you know, if you dismantle that, then that really changes that oil supply that Iran has to add to their daily quota. And, you know, a small strike could, you know, take three to 450,000 barrels out of the market. If it was a major strike, you could be up to one and a half to two million barrels a day of Iranian production. Well, that's right, Peter. This is Sakshi from the NDTV studios. Well, staying with supply concerns, you know, this the entire conflict deepening could potentially derail global supplies across the region as well as globally for India as well. What do you see as the impact in the near term? Well, yes, I mean, you can't discount that. It's every possibility could play out, and this is a major concern. You know, we've got to look at the fabric as far as the Middle East. Around about 35 36% of global supply comes through the Middle East. Um, the inflation story would only, you know, exacerbate and, uh, you know, and ramp up very, very quickly if you had, you know, crude prices at $80, $90, $100 plus a barrel. So all of this needs to be taken into context and it's just a wait and see game at the moment where whether we're going to see retaliatory action from Israel and possibly the United States on that Iranian infrastructure. Right. You say it's a wait and watch mode, of course. But yesterday we saw Brent crude prices touch nearly $75 a barrel. Just today we are seeing yeah. a significant jump and they're likely to touch $78 a barrel. Anticipation of these rates going even higher. So Brent crude, uh, which is significant to India at large. What is your outlook for Brent crude prices in the near term? Well, you've got to say that momentum that we've seen has been very aggressive. So, you know, $2.50, $3 over a day is an un uh, unusual. And you could well be at $80 by the end of trade today, you know, when New York closes. So there's every possibility. If you see a, a strike over the weekend, crude prices could jump $10, $15 from these numbers at the moment. It's not fear talking, that's geopolitical war premium that's built into price. I've been following these markets for the best part of 40 years, and this is a major concern at the moment. 
This is as heavy as I've seen when you've got the United States involved in this.